And there we go, the most expected thing e Hmm, I guess two wrongs do make a right. How's it going boys and 3.5% today we're playing Mono Black, also known as the Mommy Sheldred deck. That's right, it's pure perfection, you know it. We got early game, mid game, a late game, big plays, small plays, removal, enchantment removal, sacrifice removal, search reanimation, it's absolute perfection at its finest. One of the most consistent things in all of the universe. Definitely more consistent than your dad at least. So that already makes it pretty reliable considering all things. In any case, even life gain a little bit and amazing card drop. 24 lands to be specific, 3.5 average mana cost, but that is because we have virtue of persistence and that kind of makes everything feel a little bit off. But, you know, it's fine, because it's going to give us Virtue of Persistence in the opening hand, and that's good removal against Red. So, we're kind of happy with that. Anyway, with that being said, without any further ado, let's just get a cracking and see what happens. Now, this is a pretty good hand, considering we have Cruelty of Gix. If we can cast it, we can find anything that we want. And also, do you think this is Dinosaurs? Could be Dinosaurs. If it's Dinosaurs, I can deadly cover... Hmm interesting okay shreldrix go for the throat yes that is gonna be my choice don't ask me why in any case we can actually exile it if we feel like it because we have the end remember when tenacious underdog was a menace and no one could deal with him properly and then they uh printed anointed with affliction just because exactly that yeah what a time to be alive. And now, it's kind of, it's a good card. It's, Tenacious Underdog is definitely a good card. But it just doesn't fit in the meta properly anymore. So, you know, that that's a little bit of a small thing. Also, headset. Okay, now you're going to have sound, boys. I just noticed there's no in-game sound. Professional competitive YouTuber, as one might say. Galissa. Hmm. I do have Cruelty of Gigs. Do I? Gliss is really annoying, but she doesn't do too much yet. So, I definitely think I'm gonna sag this. I'm not sure what he, what else he's playing, but I kind of like that Cruelty of Gigs right here. So, first things first, target opponent reveals their hand. We're gonna start at 1. 2 is pretty good in a lot of cases, but I want to see what we're working. Assassin's Trophy? Ooh! He's just gonna probably Tenacious Underdog. Imagine not Assassin's Trophy. Hello? What is this? Well, it's a crew captain. Why, though? <laughs> why, though? Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good question, honestly. Why, though? Okay, what do we want? Good question, honestly. I'm not even sure. Probably Virtue of Persistence because we're on 5 mana. And he's not going to be able to play anything unless he wants me, uh, wants me to, uh, to drop it by Rexy and Arena. But then we have Virtue of Persistence and Sheldred. So technically, well, he does have that. Slightly annoying, but not the biggest deal in the universe. Kind of a big deal, though, still. Annoying. Okay, I think I'm gonna devious... No, not devious cover up. What am I... What am I saying? Oh, he could actually do this. Is he thinking? Proliferate my cruelty of Gex. Do it. Be the man your father never was. Put that tail in me. You know, like, lore-wise, like she did with Jace. You know, it's a... Hmm. Well. These are interesting choices, to say the least. So, definitely Glissa, because it's an extreme power play. Definitely this. And now the best part is, I freebie get rid of her. And I can ruin... Hello. Hello. Definitely interesting. Actually, pretty... Pretty decent all-rounder to a degree. I'm not sure how I feel about the lizard rogue, but I don't know. Not the worst by far. So, 
He only has this much, huh? Interesting. Well, not a big issue. Okay, so now the trick is we do this. Because we do this, he no longer has choices. And now I'm going to take Assassin's Trophy. So, what do you do now? This is one of the rare good plays that you can do with the bad, by the way. Ooh. Ooh. That's pretty lucky. Because that kind of... That, that, no, not kind. That literally stifles me a lot here. So, what are his choices? I am on six lands, Virtue of Persistence. He can get rid of the Pyrexian Arena and everything at the same time. So, watch this. Yeah, minus the Galissa. What now, buddy boo? Ah, uh, that's right. Terrible, terrible choices. And now, I get a free real estate, Virtue of Persistence, if I feel like it. Oh, that's pretty good, honestly. Okay, how about we do it like this, though? Sag the Planeswalker, because there's no other Planeswalkers, this is completely fine. And now do this. Okay, what now? Man, we are, we are absolutely nailing this game, boys. Do you have a man lane, maybe, that I'm not seeing? Nope. Okay, okay, Assassin's Trophy, just, just give me more of that good stuff, boy. I'm okay with that. Also, this turns into a land, which means I can cast a two-cost spill if I feel like it. Tenacious Underdog is cute and whatnot, but... Wait, is there a point in me casting Virtual Persistence at this point, though? Hmm. Good question. What can we reanimate? Pretty much just Gliss, honestly. Huh. A land? A land's not bad currently. Okay. We're one, uh, we're one mana off of casting virtue plus N everything. Okay, so. I can do it like this. And then we get a Gliss. And I can do this. Because I want to get rid of that. I want him to have as little plays as possible to just make a free real estate turn. If I drop Sheldred, I think we're kind of fine. He's dealing a little bit of damage, being a little bit annoying and blah blah blah, but we kind of knew that that's going to happen anyway, right? Also, the emblem at the side that, the side that says it's going to get sacked. Great stuff, great stuff. Anyway, let's reanimate. Could actually reanimate his stuff, but I, I don't think it matters. Okay, cat on purple. A land. Yeah, that's not necessarily... Ooh, that is good, though. That is definitely good. Okay, now I'm gonna do it like this. I don't need the lands, so, you know, this is pretty good. Solid, one might even say. And now we're gonna be able to re reanimate this uh, this little pi piglet right here, and it's gonna be even better. Oh, yeah. In any case, we are in a pretty commanding position. We did really good with playing against his asset. Oh! I mean, sure, if you feel like it. I mean, you you did stuff. You still get to draw the land, even if you don't deal damage with Tenacious, so it's not uh, so it's fine. But I kind of feel like he's, you know. The cuteness never stops, huh? At least he's trying, not giving up hope. You know, he thinks maybe he misclicks. Yeah, not happening. Even though I am very well known for misclicking things when it, it is extremely bad. Clutching defeat out of the jaws of victory. A classic. In any case... In any case, I need a ch Oh my lord, he's double tenacious underdogging because... Yeah. Okay. Okay, Chief, should I actually be worried about my HP totals currently? <laughs> oh man, I probably should, honestly, huh? Anyway, do this. Reanimate the Shreldred. Draw the land. Boom, boom. And draw one more. A oh, boom. Can I actually... Oh, come! I was one second away. Shreldred and Shreldred. You gotta love to see it, boys. Oh my. This could be a Kaya build. If it is, though, 
Well, we do have an advantage with Pyrexia and Arena and Shrilded herself. Ah, oh, this is a different Kaya build, huh? Oh, wow, this is so much MacGuffins. Very cool, said no one. Okay, this is gonna be slightly annoying and tough. But in any case, at least we now know what we're doing with... Well, no, not doing with... DEALING with! And we do have some potent ways of actually uh, deleting planeswalkers. Shreldred is a possibility, Mach- Oh my lord, he doesn't have lands. Good! Good! You don't deserve lands when your average mana curve is 15 trillion. Look at this! Everything here is expensive. And by the way, wizards just don't allow planeswalker decks to actually succeed. It is a small thing. Path of Peril, a very cute, but you know, not gonna probably cut it in this point. Considering I know what we're up against, I kind of can probably deal with it relatively easy. Gonna drop this because I want to see what's the other two cards. Oh my lord, we have a farewell loser. Good. Well, I hope my opponent is creatures. Ah, he is. Extremely aggressive creatures, though. Which could be bad. I think this is some kind of counter, counter build. Okay, okay. We can deal with this. Ooh, we can deal with even more. Wow. Ooh, all the removal boys. Not bad, not bad. Usually when this happens, I'm kind of thinking, oh yeah, that, that, that's control. But it wasn't. Also, yeah, that's, that's unreasonably aggressive now at this point, I would like to say. Okay, so we're definitely Shreldred's Edict. I mean, how much damage are we taking? A billion, that's right. And another... Hmm. Well, yeah, I need to alleviate some damage here, right? I can probably survive a dropping Shreldred because there's no, uh, there's no fight option for him. Probably. He's also, if, if he survived this also, he's technically running out of, you know, possibilities to play. And if we get another land, we have one more blocker and a sacrifice effect. Okay, okay, belief is pretty high here. Also, copium. Yeah, that's, that's kind of high also. Let's see what he does. Huh. Interesting. Wait, he just YOLO attacks? Well, I need to block one, right, at least? Desperation? A fight effect, I'm assuming? What else, right? Okay, and now he has no cards left, and I can just drop this. Beautiful. Ah, uh, what, what else do you need in life? Just Shreldred, and maybe another Shreldred. It's super simple. Oh, he left uh, Billy up. Interesting. Mm, that's pretty annoying, and has that touch, and is annoying. And keeps on being... Why? Why, why though? Okay, very cool. <laughs> that's bad. Oh, my. Okay, let's see what he chooses to sag, though. I can collect the evidence, no problem. Okay, let's see. Let, let's see the choices. Let's see the choices. I think he's gonna draw a land at this point, and he's gonna be donezo, boys. Okay, he's gonna be donezo. Also, I will be able to flip Shreldred next turn, because everything he has pl oh, played is almost a creature. Which is kind of good for... Ooh. I mean, sure, that's a card and a half. What do you think he's gonna buff? This one, or what? Hmm. Oh, he's continuing buffing Billy. What a choice. I don't know who you are. Not gonna read way too much text. Even he doesn't like it, wizards. Okay, okay. And now, sacrifice something again. <laughs> Man, this is an unbelievable win. Well, we can still lose, don't get me wrong, but currently kind of looks like a 8, right? Uh, exile, return, battlefield, transform, only as sorcery if eight or more. Okay, okay, boys. Whoo! Whoo! You know, it was, was kind of a little bit, it was kind of a little bit like, ah, oh, that could be bad. Wait, did, did the first effect destroy it? Yes. Good, 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 good. 
Good. Wait, this guy, though, does actually play things with haste. Uh-oh. Never punished? Never punished, boys. That's right. Never punished. Definitely not me. Ah, oh, that's good. That's, that's some good stuff right there. Oh, and we milled the one with haste. Ah, oh, feels bad, man. Actually, I should probably do it like this. Anyway. Oh, man, that, that, that feels good. That feels good. And I'm gonna get everything he owns now because, you know, reasons. Watch this. What a play. What a play. Also, this is gonna be pretty big. Bill oh, come They leave me for the best part. Liliana and the bat. Not honestly even that bad. Interesting, interesting. The bat's gonna be big here because we're gonna find what's happening. Maybe this is just a repeat. Ooh, collector's vault. Yeah, this is definitely something. Okay, the bat is big in that case. Well, Pyrexian Rain is bigger. Let's see. Ah, oh, no one cares. The, the cards. Very cool. Very cool. Okay, he has Shreldrick Edict. And I guess he doesn't have a play, but it's better than just letting him collector's vault for freebies, right? Technically. Now, the funny part is... Who do you think is gonna win? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think is gonna win at this point? I'm gonna ditch the land because let's see if that's a land. Oh, oh, he ditched the Sheldred. Okay, let's see how it goes. This is gonna be a very interesting matchup. It's probably gonna be pitch perfect or something. I do have the Liliana out and he's probably not exactly ecstatic about that one. Fatal Absence though. Okay. Uh, thingy. Okay, good. So, he probably might have a way to deal with Pyrexia and Arena. And he has a way to deal with Virtue of Persistence, which is bad. He also could be playing everyone's favorite card that still is not banned, by the way, Wizards. I'm not saying it should, but it definitely should, you pieces of crap. You completely skillless cucklords. Okay. Can I go for some kind of Miracle Hill Mary play with enough lands and Sheldred? I probably can, honestly, can't I? Okay, well, for now we have to deal with what we have been given. A oh, Sheldred? Oh no! That is actually bad and annoying, but I guess it's not the worst case scenario. But it is annoying! And, well, annoying again. Now, the thing is... I can't... If I hit Virtue... I bet I can't hit Virtue of Persistence. Okay, so the play is very simple. We're gonna win by deadly cover-upping and hitting Virtue of Persistence. That is the play. When he sacks Shreldred, we're instantaneously going in. Because obviously he's not letting her survive, right? Okay. So... Yeah, that's, that's kind of it. The Pyrexian Obliterator. Oh, my sweet dear summer child. I mean, you tried. <laughs> I mean, you tried. Anyway, anyway, deadly cover up. Adios, my sweet dear summer child. And, well, actually, Lilian, because the bat can at least be reanimated, right? And now, what no one expected. That's right. One. Oh, Kaya. Mm, this is actually way weaker and weaker than I expected. So I just need to deal with the fact that he has one Kaya left? The hell is this? Seems a little bit, you know... Honest... Wait, I did not... Ch no, we didn't... It, we would have saw the fair... Uh, we would... We would... Saw... We would have seen the farewell if he had one. So he doesn't have a farewell. Got it. Got it. Okay. Good enough, I guess. Dropping something there, Chief? No? <laughs> well, that's on you. In any case, yeah, we got rid of one of the big things. Because, by the way, this is completely a normal thing to do. Getting a rid of your Virtue of Persistence. Admittedly, you typically do this if you have, like, three or four of them. But, you know, 
that is something that people normally do. I would never do it if I had only two in my hand, uh, two in my entire deck, but yeah. So now I have a way to win, which is hilarious. Now again, no, he does not have a farewell. Self high five, boys, nice. Breach the mirror. Very cool. I think he's just gonna take a Shreldred or something like that. What did he take? Don't know. Uh, Pyrexian Vindicator. Very cool. Very cool. How about a Shreldred? Thank you very much. Muchos Gracianos. Ho ho ho. Okay. Oh, also, I do have this to actually deal with that. So, you know. Many, many things are open to us. But it is a well-made deck, so it's kind of understandable that it's pretty good, right? In any case, sack or go for the throat? Go for the throat. We need to save our one... Uh, we need to save one sh uh, Sheldrecht's Edict to deal with the Kaya, and that's pretty much all she wrote, honestly. After that, it should be good. Also, I can just instantaneously reanimate that if I feel like it, and now uh, receive damage. <laughs> Depop! Still in a bad position, not gonna lie. Anyway, let's do that again, because why honestly not? A Liliana. I like it. The end means that we can do more annoying stuff, and he just gives up. Nice. If we get more lands, this is kind of amazing. If we don't, yeah, this is gonna be bad. Red. Okay. Let's see what the bat does. What the- wait, he didn't drop anything on one? That's not red. It is red. Um, okay. Lightning strike is pretty neat, I guess. Huh. Annoying, isn't it? In any- in any case... So, what now? That's weak. Preposterously weak, in fact. Okay, deals one damage. Pretty good. Ooh, wizards! You know? I'm ki I'm, I am kind of need some stuff. Do you think he just drops Slod Squiggums and calls it a day? I think he does. Oh no, he's doing something else, maybe. I'm not liking this. My hand is way too expensive here. Sure. Well, I need to do this anyway. It doesn't really matter how you slice it. The good part is we're not taking that much damage. The bad part is... Well, I can insta-win pretty much for just Shreldred on the field. We know he has a battle trick, so... You know, I will just not block the bad stuff. Okay. Still not the worst case scenario. I think we can also sh sack Shreldred honestly here. I want him to play Lord Squiggum so I don't have to, uh, you know, care about Lord Squiggum still being out there. Okay, the moment we get five lands, I think we kind of win. Kind of. <laughs> oh man, this, this, this one's rough. Let's put the cat on purple for extra luck and maybe it's gonna be fine. Anyway, he attacks, he smacks, he MacGyver backs, and... He did it, boys! Woo! And I'm gonna sac and I'm gonna even sacrifice one shredder just for extra. A little bit of that sweet, sweet extra sauce. That's my sacrifice for wizards to give me a land so I can win. <gasps> Amazing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 3 HP per turn. What is he gonna do now? Hopefully nothing. Hopefully nothing. And if he chooses to attack with everything, I will not block, because that means I'm dead. Annoying? I mean, I said I'm gonna do the smart thing, but I am a very stupid man at the end of the day. What's the point of having a penis if you're not gonna use it, you know what I'm saying? And there we go, the most expected thing at Hmm, I guess two wrongs do make a right. Oh, by the way, how is everyone feeling about the fact that Windows is gonna be screenshotting everything you do to espionage you for the government? I mean, not do that. I, what the hell is this? Um... That's really annoying. Huh. Oh! 
what's happening. Okay, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it. Can I win, though? Oh, that's a very interesting question. Hmm. Well, you're an enchantment. I actually can force him to sacrifice you, which is kind of good for me. <laughs> so, I'm not afraid of the cowboy card, but... I do not like rest in uh, piss, you know? It is kind of a little bit dangerous. I want to see how he does things. Hmm. Not the luckiest of hands, not gonna lie. But at least we're dealing damage. <laughs> okay. Oh! Oh, I forgot about that one. Well, doesn't matter. <laughs> never punished, boys. Never punished. Oh, that's right. Sit. Well, he can still gain a lot of things from this, and that's kind of cool. Still continues to draw cards and gain life. Yay. Lands. I'm not sure what we're playing up against here. Oh, 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 that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, so this is gonna allow us to do a couple of things. One of the main things is... Hopefully prevent him from being a butthole. Good work. Or could completely bust, who honestly knows. I did get rid of my only way to actually target this, so that is not good. Uh, don't know what this does. Search your library for a... Oh, right, I do actually know what this does. I could have used this, but I decided no, I'm gonna be stupid. It is a good cut because you search. I wonder what he's gonna actually look for, though. That's the real question here. Uh, huge, mighty, morphing, power ranger card advantage. So, how do I play? Do I deadly cover up already? Probably not. Hmm, it's a little bit risky, honestly, just discarding cards at random at this point, but, I mean, what else do we honestly do here, right? It's also becoming a problem that the, uh, that the Wandering Empress is under the bat. Oh, boy. Ooh, much. Okay. Yeah, I'm 100% not sold on how the hell are we supposed to win the game. Now we're one land away from Virtue of Persistence, though. And then we can get amazing cards like Avian Interrup Interrupter. What do you even do? You just have Flash. You're kind of dumb. I have played against that card previously. That should probably tell you how much I respect it. But in any case... Again? Jesus. Have you considered, you know, not doing these things? This is a bit much. Also, he name does not check out. Check, check, fold. Well, you didn't fold, my dude. Also, the card advantage is kind of non-stop and annoying, not gonna lie. So, yeah. That's good, though. That That is, that is kind of cheeks. Okay, this will allow us to do things. A.K.A. resurrect a bat to see what's up. Kaya! Aya! That's bad. That that's bad. And he just does that, obviously. Okay, uh, Bat City boys, Ubu. Oh wait! Oh no, we are completely not ready for this. The other guy scooped, but we're actually not that good against this. Oh boy. So we have, n yeah. Well, I'm assuming this is just the forced loss because. Well, I mean, look at this. He literally does nothing but get value, and I'm I'm just existing in a constant perpetual state of, uh, I get nothing, have fun. <laughs> yeah, not great, not great. A Shreldred, 20 cards in. Ouch. Well, he... Why is... Oh, wait, why is there second bet? I'm confused. Well, anyway, he gets a free card. I think we should concede this because it's probably over. A uh, good game, my dude. You tried really hard. Or not. Two lands! Let's go, boys. Should I drop Peel the Fruin to just make him a, a little bit sweaty? Yeah, I think I'll do that. It's not like we, uh, we can't cast anything here. Green? Oh! 
Oh, it's loser green. Oh, how, how great. Ugh. Man, why do I play against people who have Wrath Priests in the opener hand? Kinda unfair, not gonna lie. Bats and Wrath Priests. Boys, we're, we're, we're in for a struggle. I think he's gonna take the Edict. Well, honestly, this looks like a game that I never get. <laughs> oh no, a third land. Okay, okay, cute, cute, cute. I was gonna say, this looks like a game where I don't get my fourth land. But I did. Now, admittedly, I have no idea what's happening here. Obvious things are obvious. I will need to do this at some point anyway. So, let's hope for the best. Not sure what he's honestly gonna do. He could poison us real good. Eh. Another one? Why? W w why? I guess there's too much value on it to not remove, but I have so many questions. First is why, and probably the second and third, the third are also whys. Okay, well, now we have to do it. Didn't make a, a huge difference. So, I hope he's just creature poison, because then we can kind of deal with stuff. Also, I'm going to deadly cover up as fast as possible to instantaneously get rid of that. I mean, you know, obviously, if we ever actually get lands. Oh boy. Kind of, uh, 25% land draw ratio. Actually, worse than that. Verse, 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 like a 12% land draw ratio. But, but it's okay. But it's okay. We have we have one uh, harder to win games. Also, again, this guy is just doing random stuff for the sake of randomness currently. So, I mean, I mean, really. Okay. Well, not that bad. Extract the truth is definitely useless in this po uh, this case. And he just lost one-third of his hand, which is pretty good. And I think a uh, mosquito bit me in the leg, and I don't like that. I actually hate that. What? The hell? Isn't how things were supposed to go. Okay, so what am I supposed to do now? I, I can't exile it. It's going to trample and apply 8 poison to me. Are you, are you going to... <laughs> are you kidding me? I mean, sure, wizards. Give a chine... Wait, what? Oh, it's poisonous 4. Only... Only poisonous 4, boys. That makes me feel so much better about life. Anyway. I ditch this, ditch this, and yeah... Ty a Tyranox Rex. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna destroy you. Thank you very much. Greatly appreciated. Okay, I, I thought we lost it, but we did not. I don't know what that... Are you kidding me? I mean, are we, are we actually just... This is the most blatant force loss I have ever seen in my life. It doesn't get more blatant than this, wizards, okay? I have a bigger chance of winning the lottery than actually playing this game. Nice.